Although it may surprise you, our planet has been the recipient of a myriad of space materials and minerals since the beginning of time. In fact, since long before life existed on Earth, space had a significant role in the formation of our ecosystem. And that is why, from time to time, archaeologists come across some truly amazing discoveries. However, none of these discoveries has captivated the world's governments as strongly as the one made in Antarctica. There, a group of researchers discovered an extremely rare and mysterious mineral that has only been recorded on one planet of the solar system so far. Would you like to find out what it is? Then join us and get ready to discover the secrets of this strange Martian component. In 2004, NASA was carrying out one of its favorite space missions. The rover Opportunity was on extraterrestrial soil, specifically on Mars. Its objective was to investigate and analyze the red giant's terrain. During the mission, it came across a layer of unknown mineral almost by accident. It had a yellowish color, but the characteristics were only consistent with a material that could not be found on Mars. Or maybe we were wrong. When one of the samples arrived on Earth, the scientists discovered that it was gerocyte, a strange mineral that is formed with water, iron, potassium, sulfate, and powerful acids. These were very rare findings due to the climate conditions of Mars' ecosystem. But how was it possible? Scientists put forward several hypotheses to explain it. One of them suggested that the mineral was available in large quantities thanks to the evaporation of small portions of water containing salt and acid. However, the strongest theory revolved around the possibility that gerocyte formed inside the ice that covered Mars billions of years ago. Right around that time, when the glacial layers became larger, the dust accumulated inside would have turned into gerocyte, the same dust that spread throughout the planet's soil thousands of years later. The idea immediately captivated scientists because it would demonstrate that Mars had large water deposits that could still be hidden in the depths. Therefore, this would also increase our chances of colonizing the Red Giant. However, leaving this discovery aside, something even more surprising was found a couple of years later. Generally, on Earth, gerocyte deposits are extremely scarce. The epicenter of the largest reserves is in Spain in the cities of Huelva and Almeria. Researchers are still determining the many uses and functionalities that gerocyte can offer to mankind. But something unusual was recently detected in Antarctica. It happened in November when Bacholo and his team were searching for minerals that would help show Ice Age cycles. The research was difficult. They had to penetrate the core of the great icy skyscrapers, choose the best samples, and extract them for further analysis. The work kept them really busy, but in the midst of this back and forth, Bacholo discovered something unusual, something he had never seen in Antarctica before, even though he had devoted much of his life to studying that frozen wasteland. It was a yellowish-orange mineral. Its location was even stranger. The mineral was in the ice core, wrapped in natural layers that were 1,620 meters long. It was gerocyte, gerocyte on Earth. And since it was hidden by an icy crust, it confirmed NASA's theory. Analysis immediately proved Bacholo's instinct right. Apparently, gerocyte was formed in the same way as it did on Mars, through ice sheets that materialized thousands of years ago. They required a large amount of water for their formation, in addition to other components. However, the most interesting aspect of the discovery was not the gerocyte itself, but its implications. On our planet, only small light layers are found, and they do not constitute a large amount. 
Meanwhile, on Mars, deep deposits of great meters in thickness are found. The difference between the two planets is abysmal, and this only indicates that the amount of water hidden in the red giant could far exceed our expectations. Other researchers say that far from being water deposits, what produced such a quantity of gerocyte was the dust of space matter that Mars's gravity constantly drags to the ground. This dust would be stimulating the formation and abundance of gerocyte on Mars, which would also explain why our planet has barely managed to form a tiny layer despite having similar conditions to Mars. Both theories seem to have their strengths and weaknesses. Every year, scientists are more and more convinced that Mars hides more than what it shows at first sight. However, there might be other factors involved in the process of its growth. In addition, many researchers have set their sights elsewhere in Antarctica. Many wonder if there is a Martian environment hiding among these huge mountains of ice that we still cannot even guess at. Will there be more mysteries to discover in this unexplored place? What else can we discover in this icy landscape? Research continues, but the chances of stumbling upon several surprises are monumental. For the moment, like other materials, gerocyte continues to have unknown properties that are gradually being revealed to mankind. Space and its effects on our planet are still unknown, but everything seems to indicate that we are close to discovering new minerals that will help us change life on Earth forever. Will we be able to understand all the mysteries of the universe and our planet? No one knows, but in the meantime, how about exploring together the mysteries of other galaxies we might inhabit in the future? If you're ready to discover what's hidden in space, then check out the following videos and get ready to learn something you've never heard of until now.